trucks who come to park or buy food stuffs from our villagers in bulk should be halted for now. We have stopped mass purchase from our local market in all our local government from now henceforth until further notice. Anybody found doing that, we have given security agencies to go ahead to confiscate those trucks and share the food to the people. Thank you. For the past how many years, there have been serious state of emergency on food. There have been serious problems on food insecurity. The previous government did not bring this out to the public. The only thing, the thing I'm giving this government is that they were able to come out and declare a state of emergency on food insecurity. As I speak to you right now in the next couple of months, I kid you not, you and I will not see food to eat as we speak. Bata, 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 box. Hi guys, welcome back to Bata Box. Today we're going to be talking about uh, food insecurity and uh, inflation. The cost of food in Nigeria is astronomical. Between January and December of 2023, food prices increased by over 34%. Just within that 12 month period. So think about that. Like the cost of the bag of rice, which is about 50 kg, was at 95,000 naira per bag as of January of 2024. Now, the president has done some things to help bring that down, but still, you are looking at about 70,000 naira per bag of rice. Now, keep in mind, everybody in Nigeria eats rice. I have not met a Nigerian that does not eat rice. And with uh, us importing a lot of rice into Nigeria, what that means is because of the price of the dollar, rice is expensive. So if you are paying 75, 70,000 Naira per bag of rice, uh, minimum wage is about 30,000 Naira has been since 2019, people just will not be able to afford that. And in the coming years, there's a prediction of uh, famine. So yes, you heard me right. A country as big as Nigeria, according to UNICEF, there's about 25 million Nigerians who are at risk of food insecurity. So while we are here gallivanting about and um, insulting ourselves on social media and talking about talking uh, about uh, celebrities and gossip, uh, we need to pay attention to what's really going on. Food is freakingly expensive in Nigeria. And if there's no food, uh, that leads to a lot of insecurity because people are hungry. So while the rich and the elite are there in the glassed-up houses, when there's a shortage of food, what will happen is others will start uh, taking matters into their hand. Now, keep in mind that the police force in Nigeria is actually undersized. They are very, very short. The police ratio, according to the United Nations, is one per thousand citizens. In Nigeria, you know what that number is? It's less than one for every 300 citizens. So there's, uh, for the 774 local governments, there's not enough police. Police is not actually doing their job. So... If people can't eat and people are hungry and there's no uh, no jobs out there, people will start taking advantage of the situation. And that's why there's so much insecurity currently in Nigeria. Uh, people are being kidnapped left and right. People are being maimed. And just a lot of atrocities going on, all tied to food insecurity. So Nigeria has 36 states and the top producing state for rice is Niger State. Recently, Niger State is kind of like, we don't want to be having people take our food and exporting all the rice we make, we have to keep some of that for ourselves. So other states that actually produce in terms of agriculture are states like Kebi, Kano, Eboi, Anambra, Kaduna, and even Taraba. The rest of Nigeria are not actually very high in producing uh, foods or goods that we actually need every day. Um, and this is something that we are not thinking about. It's something we are not talking about. If you have a country that does not produce, that country will not eat. That country will suffer that country will be hungry if you are if you're importing vegetable oil uh, ingredients that are used to cook and even uh beans believe it or not like just basic food we cannot make sooner or later that nation is going to be hungry and uh in light of the recent uh nera devaluation whereby the dollar has actually gotten very strong it's going to be very expensive and people will continue to suffer minimum wage is 30k right? compared to a bag of rice which is now about seventy thousand. So it's really, really sad to see things uh, go the way they have. And it's something that um, uh, the government needs to address, particularly in the area of food, because 
there will be a famine in Nigeria. And if the government does not do anything to address issues like high production costs, to address a poor distribution, to address the bad road, to address poor access to markets, to address uh, financing for the farmers, to address uh, government incentives and subsidies that can help with agricultural products, the country will suffer and Nigerians will be hungry and that will affect the everyday Nigerian. So what can you do about this? What you can do about this is to start your own farm. What you can do about this is to go to your village and get into farming. Nigeria has abundance of land, but people are in the cities and people are doing all these high-tech jobs and investing their time and energy going to universities. Again, nothing wrong with going to universities. If you're going to spend five, seven, eight, ten years and you end up not even getting a job that is paying, but you have land, why not take your time and then go and invest that into agriculture? Help with the shortage of food production that is ensuing. Even though nobody's talking about it, nobody's seeing it, but that's brewing and things are only going to get expensive. So that's all I have for today. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please like this video if you haven't yet and if you find value in this, Share this with someone that you think might like it. Thank you so much and have a nice day. Bye, guys. Bata, 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 box.